What's up guys, this is Bam Black Ops. We are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We are doing some die rise, getting the high maintenance achievement. This is the final seventh step. We are done. After this, we will get the achievement. First thing we need to do is go down and buy the Galva Knuckles. Now the player that needs to get the Galva Knuckles is Samuel. In this case, this was Swaggers who was playing as uh, the Samuel character. And you do need 6,000 um, points to get this, 6,000 bucks, 6,000 whatever the heck the currency is in this thing. Um, so pretty much what we need to do is drop down this elevator shaft area thing here, the broken down uh, elevator section or whatever this thing is. And right in this room is the Galva Knuckles. Drop down carefully. But have a teammate go with you just in case if you do drop so if somebody can um, revive you if you fall too far. Right there, that's where the Galva Knuckles is, just like that. And once he purchases them, that you're good to go for that step. You'll need that in a few moments. Next thing we're going to do is the Mahjong tiles, which is very, very difficult and confusing. So let me try to break it down for you. There are eight tiles scattered throughout the map. I will show you where most of these locations are. Uh, there's east, south, west, and north. And there are the four bamboo tiles. I'll show you what the four bamboo tiles look like in a second. Each of these will have a color on them, either blue, red, black, or green. Now, if you have a blue north, for example, and you had a blue two bamboo, that would mean that you have blue north, so that would mean that the north pole of the radio tower is what you're going to hit second. You need to hit the radio towers in the corresponding um, pole, each radio pole of the radio tower and the corresponding things with what the tiles show you. That's what one bamboo looks like, two bamboo, three bamboo, and four bamboo. So depending on what color the fourth one is, let's say you have the four bamboo, if the south was the four, was, um, was blue and the four bamboo was blue, then that would mean that you hit the south one last because it is the fourth one. So here it is right here. This is what our final, our final one looked like. We had a red south and a red one. So because the south was the first one, red one, red south, that means we hit south first. So whatever their corresponding color is with the number and the, uh, the corner, that's the one you hit first. And the next thing we had was a green north and a green two, which means we hit north second. So the first thing we hit is south. The second pole that we hit is north. Then the next thing we had was a west blue and a west th uh, and a uh, blue three. So that means we hit west third. And then our fourth and final one was the east black and the black four. So that means we hit east fourth. So you correspond the colors with each other. The bamboo uh, colored coordinated with the uh, north, south, east, or west, and whatever those are, you hit those first, second, third, or fourth, and they will be different for everybody, and the locations for them will be different for everybody, so I'll show you where some of the locations are now. Right after you pick up the Galva Knuckles is what, where one of the locations is. So, uh, what we need to do is drop down here just like so, and you can see in the corner here, right next to where Swaggers and I are looking, this is where one of them was, and this is very difficult to see, but this is actually the bamboo the one bamboo and it is red it's hard to see in this horrible lighting in this little area here but that was the red bamboo and it I mean that was the one bamboo and it was red uh, and then over here we have another one which was pretty blurry and difficult to see uh, swaggers had the um, he was like looking at the tiles to see what they matched up to be this one was black and this one was the east so that meant that black is east so far that we found out and that we found out that um Whatever one was going to be uh, red, whatever the red tile was for the east, south, north, or west was going to be first because we found the red bamboo, um, and that was the one bamboo that was red. And then you come over here, and next to the MP5 area, this is where the next one was. You can see it is blue. Uh, that was one of the locations there. Another one location that might be here is going to be right here. We didn't have one here, but this is where a location might be. So if you're looking for them, they might be here. They do move a little bit. Another location is through the pretty much right next to the same area uh, at these little broken down steps. Pretty much right on that step that I'm staring at right now. That is where another one will be possibly. They do move around. Uh, there are eight different tiles, and there are a bunch of different locations. I'm showing you most of the locations here uh, that I know of, that I, I've seen online, and that I have found them in my different playthroughs and stuff like that. Here on this couch is the other one. This is where we found was red, and uh, we found that this one was south. So remember we found that red one earlier, the red uh, bamboo one, and then we also have that red south. So that means that south is first. I hope you guys are understanding it. It's a little bit confusing, but uh, if you're getting it, then that's great. This one right here. Uh, I'll give you a really clear look in a moment because Swaggers and um, Face looked at it first and then I jumped on it and we could see. This one was a black 
um, for bamboo. So remember how we had that east um, black one earlier? It was a black. It was east, and the tile was black. So because that tile was black, and the bamboo tile here is black of the four bamboo, that means that east is the fourth one you hit or the last one you hit. Now here's on my own separate playthrough. These actually aren't the same colors as far as corresponding as what they were earlier, but I just wanted to show you a couple other locations that I didn't get when I was playing in when we got the achievement. Right there in spawn is one of the locations. Here is on the North Pole. This is literally the North Pole, and this one will always be here. So this, this pole is the North Pole, so that helps you right away understand which one's going to be north, south, east, and west. There will always be that North card right there that north tile for you to try to figure out what that one was right there is a black north here on these on this chair is where another one will sometimes be uh, again they most of them will move that one in spawns almost always there and the one on that north pole is always always there but right here on this white chair is where one might be and then down in the basement is where another one will be it's kind of hard because you sometimes get lost running through this crazy maze down here i always get lost in this thing uh right next to this weird chinese symbol on the wall it will be this one right here. As you can see, that's a three bamboo. So I hope it makes sense to you uh, as far as how it works. Those are a bunch of locations. Look at all those locations, and you should find, find the information that you need and then match them up with the corresponding colors. So here's what we did. We were done. We had south as our first pole. So Swaggers playing as Samuel with the Galvin Knuckles hit that south pole first. Then we had north as the next pole. So he punched that one right there. And then we had the next one of west. So we punched that one. And finally, East Pole, bam, finally, we are done this stinking crazy awesome fun thing. I love these things so much. They're frustrating and hilarious and great. They're, they're, these are some of the best achievements in anything, right, really, in my mind. They're so fun and crazy to do. And it's so cool to see the community all working together and finding out one step and then putting that online. Somebody finds the next step, etc., etc. It's so great. Uh, Rick Tofen didn't really say anything here. Again, this was the Rick Tofen path because you can do the Maxis path as well. Uh, Rick Tofen didn't say anything in, at the end. We were kind of being quiet and waiting for him to say something, but he didn't. Uh, but we did obviously get that achievement pop. And as you can see, there are the one, two, three, four, five, uh, six perks. We get all the perks to use, which is great too. We continued playing for another like eight or nine rounds until my internet went down for some reason. Thank God it went down when we were done, not like in the middle of this achievement. Um, but you can go on for a while because all these perks are fun to play with. So I hope this video helped you guys. I will probably put that together one more video that will have the entire full guide on it pretty soon. Uh, once I do that, I'll pop that online for you guys too. So it'll be all in one giant, probably 15 to 20 minute video. Uh, maybe slightly less detailed, um, you know, because if, if I had super detailed ones, they would all, you know, the final video would be like 25 minutes long, a little bit too long. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Hope you could get the achievement yourself. Let me know in the comments below and uh, talk to you guys later. So glad I could help. This has been a lot of fun. Again, more videos on the way, definitely for the other zombies achievements and stuff like that with the new DLC because this is honestly my favorite thing about these guide videos is making these awesome Black Ops zombie stuff. So talk to you guys later. And um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention was that if you screw up the order that you hit the corners, so the north, south, east, and west corners of the radio tower, if you screw up the order in any way, you will have to play another round, and then it will reset. So let's say you're in round 10, and you screw it up, you hit the wrong one, you were supposed to hit north, but instead you hit south, or vice versa, or whatever, then uh, if you screwed up that order, then it will not work and then you have to wait until round 11 so play around the zombies try not to die and then try it again so hopefully you uh, get it right in the right order the first time and not have to redo it three times like we did never yeah this has got to be east never south west shredded. yeah 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 okay shut up Fuck me in the fucking ass!